everybody, and welcome to North American Elite Wrestling Lucha Fiesta. This is your host, Danny Jackpot. This is the kickoff. We got three big matches right now. Divas Tag Team Action, Chantel Queen, team with Don Marie. They take on the tag team of Kara Lee and Selin Bell Snow Nelson. And yes, we are in Mexico City, Mexico. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Toronto. Wait a second. I'm being told that something's happening in the back. Is this Monster Messiah and Chris Snyder? Yes. I believe so. These two men were in the main event of our last pay per view, Caged In, where Nate Barron walked away the world heavyweight champion. And now, what's going on between these two? I had heard that the the war, the, the war of words has been going on in the back since that main event's been going on between these two men. Monster Messiah saying that that Chris Snyder's a dead man walking. Chris Snyder saying something about Monster Messiah being a big boy that doesn't deserve the spot that he's in. Something about Monster McDonald or something like that also I heard. As, oh my god, we are in the back right now. A Divas Tag Team matchup. It's supposed to be happening as the ladies are making their way down the ring right now. But with the camera, I'm being told, is going to stay focused on the back because of this action that just broke out all of a sudden here. And the Lucha Fiesta kickoff. I guess these guys couldn't even wait. I guess as soon as one of them were in the building, Big Pile Driver and his tag team matches has got, got to get out way. And those two men are still brawling in the back. And security's going to be breaking them up. But we got to get in the ring. Chantel Queen is in the ring right now with Carol Lee. These ladies made their entrances during the matchup. As I mentioned earlier, Chantel Queen, Don Marie, the tag team here taking out the team of Carly and Southern Bell. Chantel Nelson, I mean Chanel Nelson. It's Chantel Queen, Big Year and Nye, and Carly. I can't believe it. A minute in the Lucha Fiesta, we already got action here live in Mexico City, Mexico. A Chantel Queen, Big Divas tag team matchup. These ladies all wanting to earn, you know, a big win here tonight will get them a lot closer to that North American Wrestling Divas Championship shot that every lady so wonderfully, so coverly covers. Oh, that was terrible. Big cover for one count right there, speaking of covers. Chantel Queen going for a drop kick, but Carolee misses Carolee. Technical. Chantel Queen, though, he'll reverse an Irish whip. Some would call that the American whip. Chantel Queen taunting the fans. She is loud and proud, and the ladies love her here. Chantel Queen, openly gay. Diva wrestler here in North American Women Wrestling. Only openly gay. Superstar here in North American Women Wrestling. Not that there's anything wrong with that. We, she's happy, she's loud and proud about that. And we are loud and proud to tell you about it here in North American Women Wrestling. As Kara Lee trying to bring Chantel Queen to her corner. Chantel Queen trying to fight back. Loud and proud, Chantel Queen. One for an arm to begin, Kara Lee. And the turn buckle here. Don Marie, the tag team partner of Chantel Queen. On the apron there, you can see here is Chantel Queen. The power of Chantel Queen being presented right there. As, oh, Kara Lee up to her feet. Goes for some kind of roundhouse kick. Chantel Queen stays on her feet. But Kara Lee nails an STO, take Chantel Queen down! As she looks to take a tag team part, yes, a tag team, a tag to her tag team partner there, yes. As Chanel Nelson, Southern Bell, not a legal lady in this match, a former Divas Champion, the only former Divas Champion in this match, North American Wrestling. Sure that Don Lee has had a great career and won championship in other places. Not that I have a list of them right now, I'm sorry I haven't done my journalist homework here in this match. Chantel Queen, on Avil, on our top rope, fall away slam, super fall away slam, whatever you want to call that, Chantel Queen now, getting some momentum, big splash, Chantel Queen, almost dominating both ladies by herself in this match, now makes a tag to her tag team partner, Don Marie, Don Marie now, Chantel, or Chanel Nelson, the two legal ladies in this matchup, Chantel and Chanel, Whew. That's almost hard to say. As Don Marie now, big forearm Don Marie, and has her 
What's she doing here? Nice move by Don Marie. Nails her with the hammer lock reverse DDT. Impressive. Don Marie now. Now Nelson in those cowboy boots. Nails that forearm. I love that attire of Chanel Nelson. Going with Divas Champion for a reason right now. Delivering two knees to Don Marie and then takes her down by the hair. Chanel Nelson. That's Chanel Nelson now. Big shot right there into the turnbuckle. Chanel Nelson tags in Tara Lee. Tag team move. Drop toe holding to the elbow. Drop Tara Lee. The legal lady in this matchup. Nameless referee. Got the action here. Started off Lucha Fiesta. Yeah, that ball. I think she just had it in the side of the back there. These ladies and That was just crazy. What a way to start off and kick off a Lucha Fiesta. And it's so weird, crazy. I want to mention Tara Lee now has Dom Marie in a bad way. Has her in the corner of her and the Southern Bell right in the corner that she wants her in, but not in the corner that Dom Marie wants to be in. But big move out of the corner there. As I mentioned, no, we got Extreme Tony Challenging for the North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Who takes on Nate Farron? 77% of you out there believe that Extreme Tony is going to walk away the world the champion tonight. Tara Lee with a nice sit-up power bomb. That could be it for Don Marie. She may look at the goal tag in her partner, Jen Chanel Nelson. Southern Bell Chanel Nelson. Also, don't forget tonight we got. The, the Samurai Dragons, they're going to be challenging for the North American League Wrestling United States Tag Team Champions, and they take on Alex Snow and Pippen Dreyson. I don't know if you guys are hearing me right here or not, but Alex Snow has yet to show up in the building. From what I'm being told, Alex Snow is possibly having flight issues from where he's at and might not be in the arena tonight. Chanel Nelson working over Don Maria as she tags in Tara Lee here, looking for another tag team move as Don Maria is in trouble right now. As Don Marie is definitely taking a beating as another drop toe hold to an elbow. Don Marie tries to get up to her feet, does looking for a float over DDT, nails down to Tara Lee. Impressive by Don Marie and the fans are into it as Don Marie shows off to the fans and Don Marie always char charismatic and show showmanship, showman ladyship, show show showmanship. Try to say that. So tonight we also got. Silver Prince challenging Evan O'Shea for the Maple Leaf Championship. We got Austin Andy going to be taking on Smokey for the All-American Championship. We got LaMarcus Carter taking on Elmo Vino. All that and more. The ladies, the Dina Championship threat coming right here. One, two. Oh, he's on the almost wins this matchup for her team. Don't forget the Divas Championship on the line. Super threat action as Rachel Cross, Red Hood, Rachel Cross defends her Divas Championship against the ladies of De Denise Parkinson and Alexandria Marie. Which Diva will walk out of, the, out of this Lucha Fiesta event with the Divas Championship around her waist or around her shoulder, wherever she pleases to put that belt. Don Marie now, getting back to this tag team match, picks up Tara Lee. Don Marie has Tara Lee now in the corner of her and Chantel Queen. That's one of her straight finally water. Gets the tag to Chantel Queen. Big tag here. Big tag team maneuver. Two knees to the back after an Irish whip. Tara Lee going for some kind of hurricane run by Chantel Queen. Catches her with a set out. Power bomb, Chantel Queen. Chantel Queen now in this team's tag team match. That goes to the cover. One, two. No, I only get two, and I thought for sure that was it. Tara Lee showing some resiliency here. Tara Lee now goes for a kick, doesn't even face Chantel Queen. Chantel Queen now, oh my god, straight jacket, electric chair by Chantel Queen. Tara Lee has got to be hurting right now, what a maneuver. Chantel Queen now. Oh, wait a second, get caught with a boot by Tara Lee, and that one does face Chantel Queen. Getting kicked in the face will probably do that to anybody. Tara Lee now trying to work Chantel Queen over to her corner with Chantel Queen fighting back. Three big elbows to the rib cage of Tara Lee. Oh, big spinning backhand, but Tara Lee misses. And Tara Lee ducks with Chantel Queen miss. And Mexican arm drag 
here down in Mexico City, Mexico Curly, going for the cover on Shot that Queen. One. Oh, and Chantel Queen, that's definitely not going to put her down. Chantel Queen, quickly back up to her feet, actually. Chantel Queen with her dedication to one of her heroes. Awesome con. Chantel Queen to be going for the Empire Buster. Nails it. Chantel Queen. Pulls Carolee away from the ropes. This very well could be it. Chantel Queen the cover on Carolee. One, two, three, and Southern Bell still now. We couldn't make the save in time. Chantel Queen, Don Marie, here on the kickoff of Lucha Fiesta. Have won this great matchup here as we go back to the replays. Don Marie almost won the match here with this cover, but does not do so. And I want to give my hats off to, if I was wearing a hat, I'm not here tonight, obviously, to the tag team of Carolee and Chanel Nelson. That was a great effort, great showing, great Divas tag team matchup here on the Lucha Fiesta kickoff. As Chantel Queen comes out victorious for her team. As you see the constant replays, you see how close Carolee was in the covers to winning this match. Here are your winners. Chantel Queen, Don Marie, pick up the win here tonight in Mexico City, Mexico, and I am proud of these two ladies. They, they, they deserve the victory with their efforts here. Chantel Queen, Don Marie, climbing up the ranks in the North American Elite Wrestling Divas Division. We have to move on. You've seen the match graphic there for Connor James challenging. Corporate Alien. The following contest is a false count. It is for the Continental Championship. Yes, you heard that right. Referee, ring announcer, whoever. I don't even know who that is right now. I'm going to have to get a ring name for that guy. I don't know who that is. Call him Scotty McShanshan. Maybe it's Scotty McShanshan. I don't know. <laughs> but this is for the Brutality Championship. False count anywhere. You heard him right. As Connor James making his way down the ring. Connor James... Gee, I wonder what he thinks about that attack of Monster Messiah and Chris Snyder, who have now been banned from the building here in Mexico City, Mexico. They've been told to leave the country, we've been told. I can't believe that Chris Snyder and Monster Messiah being kicked out of the country, I'm being told. After what their actions here, Connor James, it's NSFW member, possibly being kicked out of Mexico City, Mexico. Connor James has to be looking past what just happened, no. He has to be thinking about himself. Brutality Championship match here in Mexico City, Mexico. One third Latino is Connor James. He is given the birthright of this Brutality Championship matchup here in Mexico City, Mexico. He has reminded everybody. And if you agree with him or not, it is true. That is what Lucha Fiesta is all about. Latino heritage superstars here in their home country of Mexico City, Mexico, or one of the great Latino countries of Mexico City, Mexico, I should say. Because there's also Cubans, there's Puerto Ricans, there's also many other Latino nations out there. So it doesn't make Mexico City, Mexico their homes. Connor James, though, in the ring. Promises to walk away the brutality champion here tonight. Just that corporate alien, he doesn't play by the rules. Corporate alien, we all know, is a sellout. I don't even know who to cheer for here. You got the diabolical, dastardly, it's Connor James in the ring. Taking on the man who sold out Corporate Alien, but man, that guy's my boss, and his boss is my boss, and his boss signs my paycheck, so. Go, Corporate Alien! Yeah! Corporate Alien defeated Johnny D for the Brutality Championship in the very last appearance we've seen of him. Corporate Alien, a big triple threat match, defeated not just Johnny D, but everyone's favorite mascot, Ribby. Ribby making a cameo appearance on the Cage Didn't Take Off show. Wasn't able to walk away the Brutality Champion, Corporate Alien, winning that Brutality Championship from Johnny D. Johnny D not here in Mexico City, Mexico tonight because he is quote unquote, and of course you would, do I even have to tell you this? You would believe me if I didn't quote unquote this. He is hunting, he is hunting monsters, everybody. Monster Hunter, Johnny D, hunting monsters somewhere, not here in Mexico City, Mexico tonight. As Falls Count Anywhere's matchup, Brutality Championship on the line, North American Elite Wrestling, one, the very first ever championship created in North American League Wrestling, won by Marcus Matrix. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Connor James. I just hear Connor James coming at 220 pounds. 
As he waved for the, he can challenge for the junior weight title. And introducing the champion from Area 51, weighing in at 130 pounds. He is the Alien. Well, for Alien Wayne Lasagne, 130 pounds tonight. The extraterrestrial life form always has no muscle mass to him, but somehow finds a way with that extraterrestrial like life form of his to win matches. Also, the Brutality Champion two times, Connor James Brutality Champion three times in his career, tied for the most times as Brutality Champion. Connor James, corporate alien, Mexico City, Mexico. The bell has rung. Ah. Connor James going after corporate alien in this matchup right away. Irish with Mike Connor James. Big suplex by Connor James. He has nails it on the corporate alien. Rules are out the window. NSFW member Connor James taking on corporate alien here. As corporate alien, double reverse. Connor James nails a Russian lace sweep. Goes to the cover. The nameless referee gets one. Connor James kicks up. As Connor James, big standing in security. Connor James impresses me. Every time I see him in the ring, and I always agree with his opinion. Me and Connor James, I always see eye to eye, but we are good friends. If I hate to admit it or not, we, we do talk a lot on the road. We do talk a lot in the commentary booth. Connor James, don't forget, I eliminated him with Turkey Bowl. <laughs> eliminated him with Turkey Bowl. Oh, corporate alien big neck breaker on Connor James. Don't forget, Danny Jackpot, only North American Loot Wrestling appearance, defeats Connor James. Turkey Bowl. Toss over the top rope, but actually hangs on to the apron. And corporate alien taunts the fans, and Connor James saying he's nothing. Big suplex by corporate alien, and corporate alien just giving it to these Mexico fans. As these Mexican fans are behind Connor James on the lead. Big STO by Connor James. Connor James now. What's he got planned here? Oh, driving that knee to the back of his. Goal and then just taunting to his, to his to his people, I should say, almost. And then a giant snapmare driver. Connor James looking for the cover here, the Brutality Championship. Only gets a one. Mexico City, Mexico. Standoff between these two members of the Brutality Championship. Connor James, one of the top rope on characteristics of Connor James. Goes for a plancha and causes him there as he crashes and burns, lands into the knees of Corporate Alien. Corporate Alien now going around the offense. Nails a big DDT on the Connor James. Connor James eats the ring mat right there. Corporate Alien now. Big, big slam into a leg drop. The Costume going for another leg drop, brother. And he nails another leg drop, brother. And oh my god, he's gonna be going for another leg drop, brother! Oh, and he nails a third leg drop, brother! Shades of the great Hulk Hogan! We all know that one! Corporate Alien now after three big leg drops, picks it up. Connor James nails a Russian leg sweep here in Mexico City, Mexico. The extraterrestrial life form representing Area 51 nailing a Russian leg sweep in Mexico City, Mexico against the American Connor James. God. Whew. That was a lot to say. And now the back of the back of Connor James. Corporate Alien now. Suplex and Connor James' back and ribcage seems to be the target here in this brutality championship matchup. Balls do count anywhere. We've yet to see any weapons or that rule coming to play yet. Covered by Corporate Alien only gets one once again. Connor James gets up to his feet. Corporate Alien can't believe it. Maybe he should be looking behind him. And Connor James. Oh, gets reversed here once again by Corporate Alien. And I can't believe it. Corporate Alien seems to have an answer for everything Connor James does. Headbutt into a knee. Connor, J Connor James just ate in two in a matter of two seconds. A, a head and then a knee to the skull. And then eats the ring mat once again with another DDT. Almost kissed it right there that time. And Corporate Alien going for some kind of slam once again, but Connor James able to reverse it. Connor James now behind Corporate Alien. What's he gonna do here? 
Oh, big back suplex into a face buster, gut buster like the Nuber. Maybe going after the gut because he's been doing that to Connor James. Connor James now with a reverse rush and leg sweep. I don't even know what to call that, actually. That's the very first two times I've seen a move I don't know what to call. I think that was a reverse DDT. I, I, I don't even know what to call that. A great move by Connor James, though. I know that wasn't a reverse DDT either, but you know what I mean. I love it. He went the wrong way. The other, I don't even know what to call that. Next break. Jawbreaker now by Connor James. And he has Corporate Alien re reeling here. Corporate Alien trying to roll to the outside here. Using the ring ropes to get back up on the apron. Connor James has Corporate Alien looking to suplex him right back into the ring and does so. Corporate Alien is hurting here. Connor James is looking for a win here. Could be looking for that. Prime rib suplex, that T-bone, that steak suplex, everybody. I call a prime rib because that one really hurt. And Connor James now tosses Corporate Alien right in front of me. These two men are right now. Referee follows them, as I mentioned, Brutality Championship. Balls come anywhere unless some kind of different rules specify the Brutality Championship match. Corporate Alien throws Connor James back in the ring, though. Trying to maybe not get too hardcore as you want to say. Connor James only gets hardcore. Connor James now. Going after the eye of Corporate Alien and able to reverse whatever Corporate Alien had planned there. Connor James using the rules to his advantage. And I don't even think he cares if he breaks the rules or not. Once again, drops the Corporate Alien to the outside of the ring. Right over the top rope, Corporate Alien goes and crashes down to the outside ring mat. And that isn't much ring mat between the ring and the cement floor under these two men here at, the, at, at a dome in Mexico City, Mexico. And oh, Corner James tosses him right into the referee. Referee down now. I don't even know if that was intentional. Connor James wants to kill the kick to the back of the head that stands in the jury. And Corporate Alien, though, back up to his feet. And then a tornado DDT. Is this going to be it? As Corporate Alien actually picks up Connor James. I would have went for the cover there. You're a Nagi by him. Corporate Alien goes for the cover on Connor James now. One, two, it only gets two, are you kidding me? Connor James able to kick out Corporate Alien. Going for some kind of weapon here now. And a steel chair on Connor James. And once again, nailed him with a steel chair. Connor James now could be in a bad way here on the outside of the ring. Falls do count anywhere. Corporate Alien now. Just punches and taking Connor James. But Connor James able to reverse. Tosses Corporate Alien right down to the ring. Corporate Alien now. Gets picked up by Connor James. Big backbreaker on the outside of the ring. Connor James now picking up Corporate Alien. These men just brawling on the outside of the ring. Connor James to be looking for that saving grace here. On the outside of the ring, he nails that saving grace. Connor James, cover! One, two, three! We have a new brutality champion! Connor James breaks the record for most reigns! He is now at four reigns and currently the brutality champion for the most times and just the most definitive brutality champion in North American League Wrestling history. It's Connor James at the moment. As you see in the replays right there, I think the replays have to show that because I don't know what to call that move. That was a great move though by Connor James. Almost like a reverse snap mirror. That's almost what that is. I think a reverse snap mirror right there. There we go. I found my name for it. It's a reverse snap mirror. As you see on the outside of the ring, Corporate Alien nails that big gear and Nagy. Goes for the cover here on Connor James. One, two, but Connor James shows resiliency. He kicks out here. Connor James. Here's comes your back. winner and new W. Connor James. James! The new brutality champion. And Connor James has to be proud as he knows what he has just accomplished here in Mexico City, Mexico. Fans are proud of Connor James. We have to move on here. Six man tag team action. You're going to have the junior weight champion, Marcus Matrix, and Dale Von Deuce teaming up with Mike Valentine to take on the Ant Farm and 
their tag team partner tonight. Hollywood Canadian Connection. Taking their way down the ring. Dale Von Hoos on the right. Marcus Smithers on the left. Great tag team here. These two men. Marcus Matrix is the only champion. Has been defending that championship all over the world. Won the, won the Junior Way Championship in Europe, in Liverpool, England. Now in Mexico City, Mexico is the Junior Way Champion. As their tag team partner, Mike Ballander, the boss of Mike Woodway down the ring. The Viking, the Minnesota Viking, Mike Ballander, who we see attack Evan O'Shea on the very last edition of or the very last interview cage and after Evan O'Shea, wait a second, Evan O'Shea's right there everyone! Evan O'Shea's behind Mike Downer! Mike Downer doesn't realize the drop from Evan O'Shea! And Evan O'Shea is looking for revenge on the attack that I had just mentioned! Oh my god, it's Mike Downer now! And Evan O'Shea are brawling on the outside of the ring here! I can't believe it, I was just mentioning it! Evan O'Shea was attacked by Mike Downer! And Evan O'Shea remembers! He's breaking these men up as as, as Dale Von Deuce and Marcus Matrix looks on as Mike Bounder's back in the ring now. As, as the security's gotten Evan O'Shea out of here in the six-man tag team matchup is going to continue. What? Mike Bounder was just attacked during his entrance and the Ant Four were making their way down the ring. Red Ant-Man in the red, Black Ant-Man in the black. I don't know if I can tell you guys that anymore. Not much is known about these superstars. Lost in their debut matchup. This will be their second appearance here in North American Elite Wrestling. Looking to turn their luck around here in this tag team matchup six-man tag. Here in Mexico City, Mexico. One of those famous six-man tag team matches that Mexico City is known for here in Mexico. Black Ant-Man, Red Ant-Man. Really defines Lucha Libre wearing a mask and everything. And here comes their tag team partner here tonight. Butch Simpson. Butch Simpson making his way down the ring. Now, don't forget, if you don't think Butch Simpson is a threat at any given night, he's a former Mountain Range champion. And also, in a non-title action, he defeated Nate Farron. Yes, our World Heavyweight Champion, Butch Simpson, pin Nate Farron, one, two, three, live on Aggression's very first ever show. Butch Simpson, after that, took the, was taken down with a small, Small knee injury, asked for time off, was given it. Butch Simpson had wrestled a few other appearances since then, and he was tweaked, took some time off. Butch Simpson back here in Mexico City, Mexico City did not miss his appearance here tonight. Cowboy Butch Simpson. As the fans, not big fans of Butch Simpson, and, uh, and I, I, there we go now. That's, uh, admit, Butch Simpson getting a mixed reaction here in Mexico City, Mexico. Butch Simpson, you're going to be teaming with the Ant Farm here tonight. This should be a great six-man tag team match, no matter how you look at it. Butch Simpson with the Ant Farm. Marcus Matrix, Dale Von Deuce, Mike Downer. Mike Downer getting attacked by Aaron O'Shea during his entrance.
attacked by Evan O'Shea earlier just during his entrance. Impressively still wrestling this matchup as Red Ant-Man tags in his tag team partner, Black Ant-Man. And little is known about the Ant Farm other than they work for the tweet. As Black Ant-Man goes for some kind of move there, but Mike Bound to the Minnesota Viking versus the Minnesota Viking has his biggest made it. Made his attendance known that he has some problem with Evan O'Shea and maybe his last championship opportunity. You don't know, but Evan O'Shea has responded by attacking Mike Down in the back. That's going to be interesting to see how that all that develops right here in the future of North American League Wrestling. Marcus Matrix is the title junior weight champion. The champion defeated Zach Starr and Cage Den and a great comeback. You can't, you got to give it to Marcus Matrix this kid is fighting the only junior weight champion for the last few months since that the inaugural champion. As I mentioned earlier, Marcus Matrix also the inaugural brutality champion. Marcus Matrix is the first, the only person to be a two-time holder of two first championships here in North American League Wrestling is Marcus Matrix. And he's in the fight to him now. Don't forget, Red Ant-Man and Black Ant-Man are junior weights. They are considered guys who could possibly challenge that junior weight championship one day. Marcus Matrix nailed the brain buster. Reminds me of the Guerreros right there. Eddie and Chavo, both of them. I doubt it wants to get attacked. I doubt it now. Wait a second, he's getting reversed, getting picked up. Fireman's carry position, and right down to reverse his black hat. With a few elbows to the jaw. And oh, a form now by Black Ant-Man and a drop kick catches Mike Downer. Mike Down is down. Getting back up to his feet. Black Ant-Man is attacking him here. Main event of the kickoff of Luke Duffy. Yes. Black Ant-Man now taking the fight to Mike Ballander here. German suplex. Mike Ballander, let's, let's not forget what's all happened tonight. We've seen Connor Dan just walk away as a new brutality champion, the Peace Corporate Alien here in Mexico City, Mexico. He just tagged the matchup against Chantel Green, Don Marie, the Peace, Chanel Nelson, and Carol Lee. We also see Chris Snyder and Moss Messiah get kicked out of Mexico with their brawl. Just being deemed un unsafe to be in the arena and unsafe to be in Mexico. How are you labeled unsafe to be in Mexico? Not safe for work, not safe to be in Mexico with Chris Snyder and Monster Messiah now. Mike Ballander cover here gets two on the Red Ant Man here. Main event of the cage didn't pick a uh, Lucha Fies kickoff. Mike Ballander big elbow with the Red Ant Man while he's down. And talking about kicking a man while he's down. How about elbowing a man while he's down? Mike Ballander. Down there. Oh, that twisting snapmare driver. We've seen him do it on Evan O'Shea on the outside of the ring last week. Two. It only gets two this time. Right that man still has some fight left in him. As Dale Von Deuce is back to Mike Down, another little man for his two man team here. And Red right Man running at Dale Von Deuce catches him with a running night breaker. And now. Surfboard stretch right here, or a bow and arrow, I'm sorry, I can't remember which one's which. I believe that's a bow and arrow, I, I could be wrong. Either way, he's, he's put his knee to his back and pulling his arms back and it hurts everybody. Hurts the shoulder, hurts the back. DDT by the Red Ant-Man, Lance Dale Von Deuce down the ring mat. And I'm sure noted piss drinker Jake Roberts would be very happy with all the DDTs here tonight. Red Ant-Man only in a two. Actually, probably the noted piss drinker probably hated. I believe you think the DDT would finish off wrong. There's no one with the DDT like noted piss drinker, Dick Roberts. As Marcus Mitchell's not getting attacked by Dale Von Deuce. And oh, looking for like that, that trapping arm suplex. Trapped that arm, the nailing an overhead suplex, and only gets two. Almost like a reverse Northern Light suplex. That reverse moves all the time. And now uh, Red Ant-Man though, taking to the junior weight champion, big suplex right there. Look at Red Ant-Man showing some fighting some resiliency here. It's Butch Simpson now the leader man this matchup. Cowboy Butch Simpson, both Butch Simpson. Butch Simpson, big 
backbreaker, and now all your steps in the back out of Marcus Major taking the fight for the junior league champion is Butch Simpson. Don't forget, Butch Simpson and Mike Dowd are also former tag team partners. It's the Psycho Cowboys. The Psychotic Trailblazers. Two different tag team names they went through. Mike Dowd, there's another one. Whatever, Bush Simpson laid back Cowboy as opposed to whatever. Snap here to a kick by Marcus Natus. And Marcus Natus always impressing me here. We get to beat Marcus Natus as soon as I beat Well, he's already the junior weight champion. He's impressive, but Marcus Natus is going to more gold to the way he's going, I believe. Marcus Natus nails the red pill on Bush Simpson. Only gets two, though. Cowboy Bush Simpson kicks out of two. And Marcus Natus now, again, talking about Elwood and Amanda down. That's what the team is doing. They're chipping and grabbing them down. Marcus Nakers, Dale Von Deuce, and Mike Downer. Well, he would have can connect to the other way of the race. Dale Von Deuce, Mike Downer. He's found one of the risk takes. The action's going down to the ring. Marcus Nakers is being slow. Pace. Methodical pace on the race. Into a gut buster, fire is turning gut buster right there to two knees. Tags and Dale Von Deuce. These two are looking for some kind of maneuver here. Bam! The Hollywood snapshot. Or the Canadian snapshot, I'm sorry. Oh, but the Ant Farm breaks it up there. That might have been it for Butch Simpson here in this six-man tag team match with the Canadian snapshot. And Butch Simpson, oh man, who knows many spine buster variations. He's nailed one on Dale Von Deuce. Drags him away from the corner to go for the cover, does. Butch Simpson looking to win this match up here. Only gets one till Mike Bounder breaks it up. Mike Bounder being there for his team now. But pick up here in a six-man tag team matchup and the action has been great. Take Dale Von Deuce to the outside of the ring. 
Look at Black Arrow, he's right in here. Black Arrow, outside the ring, is referee sign two. Or should I say, Dos Trace. Referee Tom White Bounder to get back. Junior is count. Quattro for Quattro. Cinco. As Dale, as Dale Von Deuce and Black Catman as the count at five. Dale Von Deuce now. Irish just push Simpson. And then just flip off the end block bar. What is that about Dale Von Deuce? A little bit of heat game between these two teams, maybe. Marcus Patrick's big drop kick on the foot center here. The junior world champion been fresh now for the last few minutes. As it's been right down there, and Dale Von Deuce, two legal men in this matchup. What's Marcus Patrick's trying here? All right, can you even tell you what Matrix is? Matrix, I never know what's going on in that guy's mind. Maybe he's under the Matrix right there. Maybe you turn this, boy, this happening to him once again, getting hit with that backbreaker and being stretched out by Butch Simpson. And don't forget, Marcus Majors hasn't taken on to smaller men. Butch Simpson weighs 252 pounds, so he is a little bit bigger than what Marcus Majors has been wrestling here lately. Not that same thing away from Marcus Majors in a great time. He can wrestle with the best of them. It's been a few time each and taking champion as far as Mr. Marcus Majors in the AEW with the Hollywood Canadian connection with Dale Von Deuce. Michinoku driver right there. Speaking of Dr. Michinoku, they will coming up now twice in this matchup. As Marcus makes it to cover. Two! Oh, and I thought this was it! Black Ant-Man somehow gets his shoulder up, and Black Ant-Man crawls to the corner, tagging the Red Ant-Man! Red Ant-Man! By Tim Omega makes the knockdown, Marcus Matrix takes down Dale Von Deuce and Mike down here with some shots! Red Ant-Man now! the quality slam! One down! Marcus Matrix, the resilient, these shows kicks out somehow on the quality slam! How oh, did he do it? Marcus Matrix! Marcus Matrix, oh no! He's going for it! This huge rock kick! He called the Harlem kick! And now, Marcus Matrix is Handiwork here on Red Ant Man. His Red Ant Man is in the corner again. Marcus Matrix. Oh, wait a second. The Ant Man might have been playing Boston, but no, Marcus Matrix has him in the corner now. And wait a second. Here's the Elvon News. Oh, and, and hit him like Malander. Oh my god, they said they crushed the Air Force here tonight. Wait, crushing like a new man. He goes to the cover. Two, three. And it's over! What a move! What a tag team maneuver by Marcus Majors and Mike Valner! And what a, what a three-man team that man, that team made here tonight! Mike Valner and the Hollywood Canadian Connection, even after Evan O'Shea, during Mike Valner's entrance, had attacked him. And we were able to get the turn to break these men up this match. And we had the tag team match in the ring. And this match continued. Mike Valner and Hollywood Canadian Connection pick up a huge win here on the kickoff main event of Lucha Fiesta here in Mexico City, Mexico. And I gotta give all credit to the Ant Farm and Butch Simpson showing a great tag team match up here. But after this, you see the replay, it was just too much. Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce able to cut off the other two men from breaking up the three as they celebrate the win. Marcus Matrix, Mike Bell, and Dale Von Deuce reminding you all, that, and Danny Jackpot here reminding you all, great win by these men. Good fight, good night. We'll see you here at Lucha Fiesta.